Well, hello everybody. Um, here to show you a video on your Microsoft Live Cam Studio. Uh, we all have a problem with this camera. I'm currently using it with it autofocusing, and they're not really being a way to fix that. But I can show you how to fix it for like recording in OBS and in the uh, camera app. And that's about all I can uh, show you because. I mean, there's really no big fix out there, and you know, Microsoft won't release another program that is compatible with Windows 10. So, uh, I'll show you within OBS exactly how to get that done. But, I mean, I don't think it's going to work on a program like Skype or anything uh, of that nature. But, you know, at a very minimum, if you're just recording videos, OBS is a very good option. You can choose just to record the video from your webcam. You don't have to record the screen like I am. Uh, you can actually just do that by going down here to display capture and deleting that. And all you will see is uh, your photo. And you can blow that up to the whole entire size. You can also change the settings to where it's not like the 4.3 uh, the like I currently have it for uh, screen size. Now, for some reason, when you're recording in OBS and you're recording the OBS program, it does like an infinity uh, type thing, as you can see. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool, but, you know, hey. Um, on to the video, though. Okay, so to change your settings, you go down here to your video capture device, which it happens to be your uh, life cam. And you can see that here, that it's the life cam studio. Uh, you go to configure video and uh, I mean you can kind of see it somewhat uh, you know adjusting itself but to stop that when you click on configure video it brings this up uh, from there you change your uh, setting here from focus uh, where it says auto and click that off okay so you'll have to manually use the slider to get your focus where you need it to be but that's about it and then that fixes your whole program with it or problem not program with it automatically going in and out of autofocus so as you see i can take the slider and i can change my focus and from really blurry uh, you know to a little blurry on that side but once you figure out exactly where you need it to be, you know, you're, you'll be perfectly fine. You can record any type of video that you want. So if you can do it for YouTube, you can do it like how-tos. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Or if you're trying to get a picture-in-picture picture for video game editing uh, or streaming, you know, either way, I mean, it works. Uh, if you don't like how it changes the light, you can change on your slider. On the exposure after you unclick auto and it goes a little dark but you can turn it to like where it gets really bright so um, I'm thinking for the purposes of the video I'm gonna kind of go with that but actually I'm probably gonna change that back because that looks like it changed my video quality okay anyways you hit apply and you don't get a problem with it auto focusing anymore but now on to the Microsoft camera. So this is the only other application I found to actually have these settings. But if you know one that has like that brings up a box like the last one, then I mean you could turn the autofocus off then too by going into the camera properties. Um, I haven't found a registry edit or anything like that that actually works. So I mean, if you found something that works, please post it in the comments and show others. So. <clears throat> from there uh, to use the other camera software we have to turn off the picture in picture so we'll go ahead and remove that out and we're gonna open the camera app so it's gonna start off with uh, you know the live cam and you can see it auto focusing as we speak and we go change the camera down to your uh, integrated camera, which you can see that's a lot more horrible. 
Yeah. Okay, so anyways, back to the life cam. Uh, basically, if you use this uh, arrow, right arrow, at, to expand, you'll see where it says auto here, and that's for turning it to manual focus. If you do that, you're pretty much going to stop your problem, and you can record what you want from this program, or you can take photos, or whatever you like, and you're not going to have that focus issue. And you could use your slider over here to change the focus yourself if you want to. But, you know, I find it a lot easier to uh, just keep it on manual focus. Because you don't seem to have the problems of it going in and out constantly. But, basically that's how you get that done. If uh, this helped you out and you liked the video, please share, subscribe, and like the video, and please post your comments down below. Alright, thank you.